Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about candlesticks. I will break it down into three sections. First, what are candlesticks? And second, how to read the components of a single candle. We will have part two in another video talking about how to use it in real life charts. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. A candlestick shows the price movement of a stock within selected time period. It tells you where the stock opens within that time period where it closes, how high or how low it went. So how do we find that information in a candlestick? A regular candle has a wick. A candlestick on stock charts is no different, except it could have one wick, two wicks, or no wick at all. It usually has a body, but theoretically it could have a very slim body where the candle is literally just across, and we'll explain later. On the chart, you will notice there are green and red candles. On a green candle, the bottom of the body is where the stock opened in the time period. The top is where the stock closed. The bottom wick is the lowest the price went, and the top wick is the highest the price went. On a red candle, the top and bottom wicks are the same. Top is high and bottom is low, but the body is the opposite of a green candle. Top is where the stock opened, and bottom is when the stock closed in that time period. And like we mentioned before, if the stock opened and closed at the same price, then your candle will actually just be across. We know a candlestick is within a specified time period. Let's say this is a five minute green candle. And within that five minutes, the price action can be like this or like this. Let's also take a look at a 5 minute red candle. Within that 5 minutes, the price action can be like this or like this. Let's say you have these 5 1 minute candles. Now you want to see the price action using 5 minute candles. Do you think this 5 minute candle will be red or green? Well, let's see. The first candle opened here and the last closed here. So it's a green candle. And this is the highest the price can go. And this is the lowest the price can go because of the highest and lowest wicks. If we have six of these five minute candles, we can have a 30 minute candle. And from this, we can imagine a lot of crazy actions could be within that 30 minutes. Here's a quick example on TD's Think or Swim where you can adjust between different time period for your charts. This is a one minute chart 5-minute chart, and 30-minute chart. 